<laughs> Good God, what an awful book. For a book and an author with such great reputations, I expected something, well, I don't know, more than this. In Chapter 1, Cordelia Naismith is leading an exploratory expedition to a remote jungle planet, and she returns from an excursion to find her base camp slaughtered, and one of the enemy attackers who had been injured and left for dead turns out to be Lord Vorkosigan himself, the Butcher of Komar, quote-unquote. So he takes her prisoner, and they set off on a long hike through the jungle to one of his company stations. It starts off as a pretty good premise, but immediately with Chapter 2, as Cordelia is spending time with this guy, as they spend day after day hiking through the jungle, turns out he didn't butcher anybody, it was all enemy propaganda, he's just misunderstood, and the more she looks at him, the more rugged he appears. It just turns into the most sickening, mindless, vapid romance novel. I wanted to throw this book across the room. It's one of the most unpleasant reading experiences I've had in recent memory. The second half of the book has some unique qualities that are worth talking about, but I'm not going to waste time on it here. Please remember to press that like button. It helps my videos get seen. And then subscribe so you can come back next time. I do science fiction book, TV, and movie reviews all the time. And please consider becoming a patron. There's a link in the description below.